Folks, we've got an unbelievable swarm of strong earthquakes again today on this October the 30th, 2013. And uh, wow, and another X Class 2 solar flare erupted this morning as well on the sun. And is there a correlation between the two? Is the sun's eruptions and the CMEs that are waving through us is that also pulling on the magnetic field and, and, and causing a significant rise of powerful quakes? And does that set us up for the mega, mega, mega dangerous quake? That, you know, I mean, I'm talking about the, uh, along the California, the fault lines that are so due. Or maybe the New Madrid fault line down near the Mississippi River. Or maybe... Uh, you know, maybe Jerusalem, maybe Israel, I mean, or, or other places of the world. Are you serious? Well, listen to this. Troy of, uh, of North Carolina sent this to me. This is the earthquakes today. Not all of them. I'm just going to give you the ones over four. Just over four. Today. Look at this. 5.1, Vanuatu Island. 4.2, uh, Alaska. 4.5, Fiji Islands. 4.9, Japan. They don't need another quake. 6.2, Chile. Ba a major, it was a major quake. Not a mega, but definitely a major quake. A jolt. 6.2 hit Chile. 5.3 also hit Chile 31 minutes later. There was a 4.6 in Yemen today. 5.1 China today. 4.1 again, this time in Cold Bay, Alaska. Also 4.8 Fiji. 4.3 Bhutan. 4.2 China. 5.2 Philippines. 5.0 Alaska. This time in Nakasaki, Alaska. 4.3 Alaska, 10 minutes apart from the last quake there. 4.1, Russia. 5.0, Peru. 4.5, El Salvador. I mean, are you serious? Are you serious? And I think there was just, just a minute ago, another 5.3 hit China. Someone just emailed me. I mean, I think that was correct. I'll try to double check that. But basically... Uh, we're seeing constant solar flares and earthquakes. Now, uh, Penny of Virginia sent this to me, and there is some questions, of course, that Comet Ison, Comet Ison might actually be causing the solar flares on the sun, the significant rise of them and the intensity of them, and that in turn could be causing the earthquake swarms on the earth. If that's so, Ison, this is only October 30th. It's a month away. Ison will be its closest point to the sun, November 28th and 29th. If already now it's affecting the solar flares, and that in turn is affecting earthquakes, what will the next 30 days bring? That's a question. I don't know the answer. Not even counting the asteroids, meteorites, and comet dust that certainly is going to be slung toward the earth when Comet Ison whips around the sun if Ison doesn't explode. It will also be the brightest star or, or object in the sky uh, since the star of Bethlehem if it doesn't explode when he gets his closest point to the sun on the anniversary of Israel becoming a state on November 29, 1947 in that vote in the United Nations prior to it becoming a nation on November 14th, 1948. I'm just saying. Now, Jesus said this. When he was asked about signs of the end of times, the end of the world, Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives. The disciples came to him privately. They said unto him, Tell us, what, what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Jesus answered, said to him, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. 
See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and divers places. And all of these, the beginning of sorrow. Are you saved? Honestly, are you saved? If you're not, it's time to ask Jesus in your heart. It's time to repent of your sins. The Bible says, For whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Repent. Be born again. Ask Christ into your life. God bless you. Jesus wants to save you. Time is running out.